may I share you with my best wishes. I'm so sorry I'm not able to be with you in person. I apologize. But uh, if you allow me, I want to share with you some thoughts about this uh, context of cultural heritage and resilience in the age of the uncertainty. So, first of all, uh, I very shortly, I want to underline that heritage is uh, something which is everywhere and, and uh, very complex uh, uh, context, but I uh, want to focus to cultural heritage and even more to built heritage, which is uh, always a uh, side base. And uh, of course, built heritage doesn't mean only that something tangible, because uh, each kind uh, and every kind of heritage has its intangible dimension. And uh, we, when we are speaking about built heritage, traditions are uh, highly important. And I, as I mentioned, cultural heritage is site-based and very much important, the spatial context and use of materials. And I want really to underline the importance of those uh, components. And the other point is, the continuity, and I uh, came back uh, later on, why it is so important. Continuity of what? Continuity of functions, forms, and contents. So traditions are highly important in order to assure continuity. And when on political level, we are speaking about a larger context, regions and, and countries, when we, are, we arrive to cultural heritage, it's mostly locally important, site-based. So the role of local communities and minorities is really crucial because heritage is always community-based. And uh, this means that heritage always has uh, special uh, features and uh, it's very uh, useful and even important to understand, to identify similarities and differences and not go to uh, for um, uh, uniform uniform uh, uh, solutions, for example, after a catastrophe. And uh, of course, uh, when we are speaking about heritage and traditions, we shouldn't forget about changes because changes are always present in our life, the human life, even the humanities life, even uh, connecting heritage. But we shouldn't forget about that uh, uh, when we are dealing with heritage and built heritage, uh, changes are only allowed which are uh, identity preserving changes. So uh, those kind of changes which are just uh, killing identity are not allowed. Now, I arrive now the most important expression this is resilience. And this is when we are looking for cultural heritage, this is the hidden power of cultural heritage. And uh, both tangible and intangible components are very much important. When I speaking about hidden power of cultural heritage, I do believe that is the root for uh, uh, resilience. Uh, resilience uh, looks like uh, this, this uh, uh, toy for, for children, the roly-poly toy, which is uh, always uh, uh, get back to the uh, vertical position. And uh, uh, this is a good uh, example how we are understand resilience. And the other one, tangible and intangible components can be seen as DNA of uh, cultural heritage and uh, the resilience. Now, uh, all of you uh, know the Blue Shield or the, the High Convention of UNESCO, which is the first one after the Second World War, adopted in 1954 uh, and its protocols. And I do believe that it's very much important uh, because it, it is a, a regulation how to behave during armed conflict, but even more important uh, to be prepared. And uh, this uh, convention also uh, has some uh, uh, prescriptions how to be prepared and how to be able to, to, to un give answer on uh, different uh, situations. And may I uh, uh, show you here uh, an example from my uh, uh, history of, of, of precedent, because I dealt with the World Heritage uh, nomination of Mostar Old Bridge. And uh, this is a good example also for rescue cooperation, because one of the points of our um, meeting here is cooperation. 
And it's a very sad story at the beginning because it was finally ruined by Croatian army. And uh, it was a, really a catastrophic uh, 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 moment of a very important uh, cultural, uh, built cultural heritage item. And uh, maybe not all of you know that uh, the first uh, 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 intervention was uh, done by the Hungarian army. Uh, and the Hungarian soldiers worked or, uh, on uh, uh, dyers uh, uh, take out from uh, stone pieces from the very cold Neretva river. And it was the first attempt to, to start to rebuild the, this bridge. And, uh, and another element of this, this example is uh, the cooperation afterward. And uh, uh, I was really personally also fighting for inscription to the word at least because I do believe it's not only a good example of uh, a, a authentic reconstruction and, and rebuilding of uh, an important uh, cultural heritage property, but also this is, a, a, how to say, this is a, a monument of reconciliation because in, in reconstruction, the creations are also very uh, useful and cooperated uh, to do that. So, uh, this is uh, also a possibility uh, that uh, to, to mention that cooperation could be a part of or a tool for reconciliation. Of course, uh, much better not to act after catastrophe, much better to use prevention. Uh, largely known the Dutch or uh, the, the Monument and Wacht uh, institution in the Netherlands and the, the logo or the motto of this uh, uh, movement, prevention better than a cure. And the most important thing, when we are uh, looking for keeping in good shape uh, built cultural heritage, the continuous care, routine maintenance. And how, how it is possible? Of course, again, the exchange of experts, methods, and good practices in the international cooperation is very much important. Uh, I take this uh, illustration from from Romania, from Transylvania, from Bontida, the, the Bansi Manor House, uh, which was ruined and uh, organized uh, or colleagues there uh, year by year an international training courses uh, in order to exchange experts, methods, and good practices. And another example of cooperation, the French uh, system or French uh, movement of Rampart, uh, many uh, years and decades, this is a possibility to, to invite young people and other volunteers uh, to cooperate uh, uh, in, in conservation and restoration of historic monuments and, uh, and other items. So this is my contribution. And I do believe that with the very, very final picture of the reconstructed old bridge of Mostar, I want to thank you for, for your patience and your um, uh, attention. Thank you very much.